How's it going everyone? Kellen Rack here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to isolate a color in Adobe Premiere Pro. It'll make your video go from this to this. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you exactly how to isolate a color on any clip. Now this is a really, really easy trick to do. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is drag your clip into your timeline. Now I have three clips here. I've got one of Boston Harbor, I've got another of the Zakem Bridge in Boston with some traffic light streaks, and then I've got a clip of myself flying my drone in the autumn woods. Let's go to the first clip. I wanna isolate this blue sky here. So. We want to pop into our effects panel and we're going to look for the leave color effect. We'll just drag this onto our clip. Now you can see up in our effects control, we have the ability to select with this picker which color we want to keep. So I'm going to click on the picker and I'm going to select the blue in the sky. Now we can use our different effects to determine how much of this color is left, how much of the other colors are left, and all of that. We want to decolor this. We will start with 90%. So it's gonna be dropping out all of the color and just leaving the blues that we have selected. Now I want my tolerance to drop to about 8%. And then I want my edge softness at about 20%. Great, so you can see that we've got some smooth edges. It's just the blues remaining. And if we scrub along, we can see that the blue is exactly how we want it to be. So honestly, in a very basic sense, this is as easy as the effect is. It's picking your color using the leave color effect and then making some subtle adjustments to the various toggles here. Now, there is something nice in that you can match colors using RGB or you can use hue. Now, if you use hue, you'll get a little bit more of the color scale that is kind of the greenish blue to the darker blue. You can see we're getting those greens now in this building here. And if we use just RGB, it's going to be a little bit stricter to the color that you've selected. So we lose a little bit of those greens when we just have RGB selected. I tend to like using hue on this. I think you get a smoother gradient in your color selection. So you can see some of the blues in the windows are popping now too. And I'll show you here, if you have your Lumetri color panel open on the right side or you apply it to your clip, you can actually do some really interesting things. So you could go in and you could adjust how saturated your blues are. You could go into the hue versus hue. This is all in your curves panel here. You could go in and you could actually change the hue of the blues. So now you can make the sky green, you can make it purple or pink. It's adjusting that hue that we have selected. And you could also adjust the, the uh, luma. So it could be really bright, it could be really dark. It's a great way to toggle and specifically color just that color that is left. Let's jump over to our next clip of the Zakem Bridge. Now we're going to just try to isolate these red streaks here. So let's drag our leave color on and we will select the red and we're gonna decolor by 90%. You can see we're starting to get these great streaks of light here. Looks really cool as you play along. Now in this case, if I use the hue option, I get a little too much of the external lights from this lamp here, some of the shadows and highlights over here. In this case, I'm gonna use RGB because I want those streaks of light to be very strictly just from the car lights. I don't want any other variation of this red showing. So in this case, I'm gonna use the RGB. I'll give my edge softness about 5% and you get these awesome looking streaks. Now, this is one of those scenarios where using your hue adjustments is actually a lot of fun because check this out. If we click here and we make an adjustment, we could totally change the color of these light streaks make them green, show the Celtics some respect. There we go. You get these cool purple streaks. So this is a fun effect, something you could use in music videos. A really, really cool look. Now let's jump over to our last clip, which is me out in the woods. And we want to really bring out the colors on the trees. And we don't want any of this brown showing. So we just want a nice color uh, of, of warmth and autumn leaves showing here. So we'll drag our leaf color effect. I'm going to click on the orange back here kind of the reddish orange. We're gonna decolor by 90%. That might be a little too much. Let's bump that to 75%. Starting to get this. Now, if we switch our RGB to hue, we're gonna get more of that hue of yellows to oranges to reds. We'll kick this back to 90. And you can see that we're starting to get just these colors popping. The greens are dropping out. The blues are dropping out. You're just seeing kind of the uh, 
the more pink hues of my shoes and my skin showing through, we can actually drop our tolerance to six and there you're getting even more of just those colors showing through. And again, it's just about playing with these settings, seeing what works, seeing how it's gonna adjust to what you want it to be and nailing down the colors. Now we could play with this again, we can color the background around me. A lot of different fun that we can have with these effects. So really it's as easy as that. It's just using the leave color effect in Adobe Premiere Pro, playing with how much you're decoloring, adjusting what the color it is that you wanna leave, and then using your Lumetri color to dial in that hue that you're dealing with or bring up the saturation. In this clip, we could really bring up the saturation of those autumn colors. So you can have a lot of fun with it. Uh, go ahead and play with these effects. It's super easy to do, but it can add a really nice touch and emphasis to whatever project you're working on. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Write a comment down below. Let me know what other types of effects or tutorials you wanna see on this channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and we'll check you back in the next one. Thanks guys.